Um, so in regards to the song, we haven't heard it yet. Could you share a quick lyric? And okay, experience? I can talk you through it actually because I was, I was, you know, I was quite mindful of. I'm a George fan, mm -hmm. and then a friend that I want him to approve of what he, I'm doing, and I'm probably going to fall short right. because he was such a perfectionist. Yeah. When I first started writing it, I thought, okay, can I bring in his lyrics? For example, okay, and then the okay it goes. Um, every young gun has their fun. <laughs> okay, so wham. Yeah. Okay, so I was a fan first. Is this song going to be indicative of the album? Well, I'm in the middle of it. Right, okay. So I think, I think for me, albums, you know, they have a tone and there is an evolution in my music. Yeah. But and this is sensing a tone. Yeah, but I think for me, an album is two things. One is like a girl's wardrobe. Mm -hmm. If you think about a girl's wardrobe, she's got her little black dress, but she's also got a scruffy pair of jeans in mm -hmm. there with her favourite T-shirt. You know, it's a mix going on. That, I would say, that's me. Yeah. But, I, you know, the, the, for me, um, songs are about connecting with you. Mm -hmm. And there's different ways I want to connect. I want to connect with your heart, <laughs> but I also want to move with you. I want to, I want to dance with you. I want you to feel lifted and... So, yeah. Yeah, for me, it's about the essence of the songs. Okay. And I think I'm going back to how I used to write, which is really honest writing. This song was just was, so Angels and Chains is a song of how I was feeling. Maybe you'll feel that too. We'll I can almost sense it. I feel like I've already heard it. I think I know how it's going to sound. So you were named um, an ambassador for Childline this morning. So that's great news. How do you feel about that? Well. I feel absolutely honoured, mm. absolutely honoured to be asked. And it's come about so organically. Mm -hmm. um, I think some of the best stuff does when you're not yeah. expecting it. Yeah. The LGBT community, mm. right? Mm. Very relevant mm -hmm. for Childline mm -hmm. because actually the set of issues that a child faces these days, you know, is, is a range. Mm. And, and Childline is always there. To, to talk, and that's yeah. one of the most important things. So let's say, okay, so we know about, it deals with child abuse, but it also de deals with bullying, cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. um, it deals with, okay, so if a little kid is wondering about sexuality, you can call Childline. What would your and, advice be to someone, a teen in that position? You know, I think, I don't, what I'd say is, and I'm not an expert, that's mm. the first thing I'd say, yeah. but being honest and sharing with a safe place yeah. that you feel no judgment, just you want to get it up and out. Yeah. I think that's the kindest thing that we can give to one another. Because yeah. what I love is like, you know what, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It really doesn't matter for me, you know, I think... Of course you would be fine with it, I'm sure if one of your kids grew up to be LGBT for example. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So for me, I have a very sort of inclusive space. You're yeah. all welcome in my gang. Sure. Did George have a favourite song of yours? I once heard, I don't know if I... Okay, there's two things I can say to you, right? <laughs> once, on my second album, I wrote this song called Calling. And musically, yeah. it's probably the most... Uh, Reminiscent. Well, well, actually, musically, it's... I would say it's the most intricate you know the piano movement on it and um he, re he really liked that it's a sort of ballad it didn't do well here mm. but it did well in russia yeah i no, did calling out yeah. your name i had the yeah. album thank, thank you but then once i once i caught him you know when you're sort of doing your chores i caught him singing chico latino <laughs> i was like oh my god oh. i was like oh my god um you once kissed kylie minogue on live tv I did, didn't I? What, what's her kissing take technique was she any good she's good she's yeah. an instigator i just have to say really? she's good oh it's her idea and my colleague wants to know what's the naughtiest thing you've ever done i think i've just got one of those faces that looks naughty right. but actually i don't know and i um what's the naughtiest thing i've ever done do you know it's funny when I probably when patting I was patting Prince Charles's bottom, not pinching, patting. Patting, that's yeah. correct. You've done your music. It was <laughs> patting. Um, that's a Spanish I mean. It was. The, I think mm -hmm. I'm accidentally naughty. I've always wanted to know as well. Um, I always assumed that your ginger hair was dyed, but then it occurred to me that um, Bluebell's got quite reddish brown hair. What is your is your natural hair colour ginger? I've never known. Yeah, it's funny. It's very interesting. Um, I think. 
when I look back, I've got one of those, the hair tone that, if I leave it natural, it's sort of like a, a mousy brownish colour, but right. as soon as the sun hits it, it, go, it start, has this sort of golden, like magic. yeah, sort of gets that sort of a gingery redness to it, just, mm -hmm. just subtly. Yeah. So it has a little element of it. Mm -hmm.